a lot of researchers, epi, epi, epidemiolo, epidemiologists specifically, it's a hard word, I don't know why they choose these words. People like, scientists like to use Greek and Latin words <laughs> to sound fancy and to create new words. This started in the Renaissance. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome to week 11's Q&A's, joined by my lovely wife Lucy. Hi guys. Lucy will be asking me more of your questions, let's do the next one. Next one is by Blind Bandito. Bandito. Sorry. That's he a said, good name. Uh, Hello sir, I prefer to eat fish over any other protein source. I want to eat majority fish with some chicken and beef. What do you think about that? I keep hearing not to do that due to the mercury poisoning. Also, any thought about the prescriptor? Sorry, pescatarian diet. Mm. Um, if you could have, if you could maybe do a video about this. If not, um, if not any info or advice you could give me would be greatly appreciated. Love the video and post. Thank you so much, Blind Badito. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, to answer your question, uh, in a synops, in a, as a synopsis, there are longevity professionals that recommend pescatarian diets. Um, mercury is definitely a consideration. And uh, I'll tell you in detail in this video more about the why mercury is a is a, is an issue, and a little bit more about heavy metal poisoning in general. So to begin, there are four heavy metals that are important to be considered in terms of poisoning. Um, there are lead, cadmium, arsenic, and mercury. Mm -hmm. Those are four that do not have a, a physiological uh, pro uh, benefit in the body, and d doses of them cause a variety of different conditions. Mm -hmm. So for example, lead, people get often from the air as well as in food. Lead has a kidney toxic effect and it is neurotoxic as well. Uh, it also has a mild carcinogenic effect, not very serious. Um, now, on the other hand, cadmium, which is the reason I made that video on dark chocolate. Many people don't know that the majority of the dark chocolate they get, or even chocolate, especially, you know, Mar Mars bars, all that stuff has cadmium in it. In fact, the more organic ones have more cadmium in them. And the cadmium levels are quite concerning, they're quite high. Now, cadmium uh, is also found in water as well as food. Main, the main sources are water and food for non-smoking people. For people who smoke, the main source is, is the cigarettes uh, smoke, and they actually have four to five uh, times the level of cadmium in their bodies than normal people. So it's a serious concern. Now, and why it's a serious concern also, unlike lead, cadmium is a, a significant carcinogen. And cadmium also causes uh, kidney issues as well as bone mineral issues. And just so you guys know, the lower the pHs of, of a water you drink, the more cadmium it usually has. Mm. So this is cadmium is something you want to watch out for. And then another one is arsenic. Arsenic is very well known. It's the thing that people used to use to poison their husbands mm -hmm. about 200 years ago. And uh, arsenic has uh, not as much of a carcinogenic effect. By the way, arsenic is also found in water, but less than in food. And there's arsenic in a lot of things. I mean, for example, all the supplements I take, I check them for arsenic levels from a, a third party a testing agency. But the arsenic, what it mainly has is, it's been shown to have for certain, it, r it raises hypertension. Well, the first thing it definitely does is causes skin issues. Uh, it's broadly not so much carcinogenic, but it does cause skin cancers and other issues of skin like pigmentation and stuff like that. But then also what it does is it uh, definitely raises hypertension and has some cardiovascular issues. And then also it has been linked weakly to diabetes mm -hmm. and to fertility issues as well. So those are, that's a list of the other three. Now what about mercury? Mercury is mainly, unless you work in an odd environment, some people get it from the workplace. A lot of these things, by the way, come from the workplace. But if you don't work in a weird environment, you're probably only getting your mercury from your food. And the main source of it in the food is methyl mercury found in marine life, uh, you know, fish and sh mm -hmm. stuff like that. So what is the issue with mercury? People who have 15% higher mercury levels in their body have two times the risk of having a heart attack at any given time. So a little bit level, uh, higher mercury levels, you have twice as much risk of having a heart attack. So may, the main effect of uh, mercury levels appear to be cardiovascular. Um, there are supposedly other effects, uh, minor effects that happen, but it's not as clear. It's definitely clear that mercury is neurotoxic in the cells, but it doesn't seem to cause much more than cardiovascular disease, heart attacks. So that's, when you think of mercury, so this is confusing because as everyone knows, uh, fatty fish are linked to better heart health. 
In fact, fatty fish, DHA specifically from the fish, is linked to less myocardial infarctions, heart attacks. But the methylmercury increases it dramatically, as I said, 15% by uh, double the incidence of myocardial infarction. So what's, what a lot of researchers have done is postulated on whether the, the protective effect that comes from the omega-3 content of the fish is sufficient to outweigh the mercury, the methylmercury. And generally researchers have decided that uh, it is not. Um, now, of course, it depends what kind of fish you're eating. There are fish that have a, a ton of, uh, not just fish, marine life, that have a lot of mercury, and there's some that have less mercury. A salmon has significant mercury, though, by the way. But uh, anyway, um, more on this, like, just so you guys know, one or two servings of uh, fatty fish a week decreases all-cause mortality by about 17%, not just uh, incidence of heart attacks, which is quite significant. But uh, researchers estimate that to replicate this, all you need is about 250 milligrams of uh, omega-3s in general. And uh, by the way, I, I, I haven't talked about omega-3s yet, mm -hmm. and I will soon, I promise. But uh, generally what is known is that the benefit of the omega-3 is in the omega-3 content itself, not in the fish. So nice. it seems most researchers really believe that you can just take fish oil uh, capsules. Now with that said, I said earlier that some longevity guys believe that pescatarian diets are helpful. Uh, specifically, I was talking about Walter Longo. Walter Longo, who is a great researcher at USC, I mentioned him many times, uh, his diet, which he calls a longevity diet, prescribes the eating of, of uh, fatty fish uh, one time a week, I think, until someone gets into older age. When they get into older age, they increase the protein content and maybe they can eat it twice a week or so, when they'll go over 50 or 60, because it's shown that protein content after that age, the higher, a little bit higher content makes people live longer. But uh, I think Walter Longo is just being on the safe side. Walter Longo, I really appreciate this about him and why I recommend him to all of the viewers is because Walter Longo takes a very conservative approach to longevity. He doesn't do all these kind of experimental things because we know people who experiment a lot end up not uh, getting the best outcome because they're the ones who, you know, they get the bad outcome in the beginning. So Walter Longo, for example, he's, he's even concerned about metformin. He's very conservative. He tries to follow what is known from epidemiological evidence to have worked in the past. So he knows people who ate fish live longer. He, even though he recommends the fish oil supplements, he doesn't uh, just trust that that's enough. So he eats the fish. So that's how they think about it. But for the viewer, um, definitely be concerned about uh, mercury. Uh, if you're only eating fish and you're trying to get high protein content, like you're eating fish every day, you're definitely, I, I would say, harming your health and you're not getting very much benefit out of it because you could just be taking the fish oil capsules or cod liver oil or whatever else. And you don't need to eat that fish at all. It's not like plants where the plants we've been able to, we're not able to properly get out the yeah. molecules in a good form. The vitamins don't work as well when they're not in the plants. Unlike that, and with the fish, you can just take the fish oil out and that's fine. So now, again, I wouldn't think, if you're asking about longevity, a high protein diet in general isn't good for you. Mm -hmm. So for very many reasons, right? Especially if they're coming from meat and there's, there's many reasons that you consider that a high protein diet is not good for you. But I would say that a, a high protein diet from meat, from red meat has additional health problems, uh, uh, you know, that we talked about many times before. And then the fish has that methylmercury. Maybe the best thing that you can do is eat a chicken and then eat the fish once a week or something like that. But again, don't eat too much meat in general. Uh, do you have any fish that you think are like better to eat than another? And you mentioned salmon has high mercury. Yeah, well, exactly. Well, salmon has higher, high enough mercury to be concerned about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are, you know, obviously that like swordfish and, uh, and to a lesser degree tuna, they have higher mercury content as, than salmon does. But those fish don't have as much omega-3. So those really are, there's no need to eat those things. And, you know, you might like the taste of them, but we're not living in a world in which that's healthy anymore. So I should include a list here. I'll include like a visual list so you guys can see sort of the omega, the mercury content in the fish. But I don't know how well it'll fit here because there's a lot of fish. But mm -hmm. you yeah. Can the link. So yeah, maybe I'll include a link. But you guys should check it out and see what the different fish that you eat are, how they are in methylmercury. And of course, these numbers are variable. Don't go, it depends where the fish is located at and different things that go on with its biology. Okay. okay, thank you guys so much for your question. We'll see you next week.